In this chapter, we start discussing pipe process book displays and how you would move those into a web environment. Uh, we're going to be talking about the SVG graphics that you would have to export them as and the RT graphics web part that we'd, we'd, we would use to host those SVG graphics. So let's talk for a second about this RT graphic web part. The RT graphic web part, it's, uh, it's simply there so that we can present displays that are created with Pi Process Book. Uh, Pi Process Book is our flagship product for doing process graphics. So you would produce a graphic like this using our rich client tool and then you would save that in an SVG format. Well, that's not going to help you much if you, um, if you don't understand some of these terms. So let's go over the prerequisites real quick. Um, we need to understand what uh, Pi Process Book is in the first place and also what the Adobe SVG viewer is and also we'll talk about SharePoint document libraries so let's get into those first let's talk about Pi Process Book uh, Process Book is our flagship product for building process graphics in real and showing the process graphics in real time so it's a rich client uh, what you'll find here is all the you know all the the set of tools you'd find in a typical rich client uh, like an office application and this is what people would use for drawing, you know, using an object-oriented uh, graphics editor for drawing process graphics and then showing live data on those profit process graphics. Now, uh, Process Book also has an embedded VBA, Visual Basic for Applications, uh, that you can use as a development environment. So all kinds of types of scripting is available from within Process Book. Now you'll notice that's one of the things you give up when you go to an RT Web Parts solution. The VBA does not come with the SVGs that you uh, you save. So Process Book can create two different types of documents. Uh, it's basically a book or a display. This is the equivalent of, well it's the equivalent of um, of kind of a, a specific book and then you can imagine the displays being sheets within that book. In fact there's a kind of a motif or ring binder motif you'll find in our PIW files that try to make that point exactly. So uh, if you've got a lot of process books uh, you can't, we do have uh, mechanisms for you to export those um, as, uh, um, as the correct type of a format, uh, an SVG format but you will notice that the SVG format is really something that only supports the display level. So you will not be able to export the full Pi process book with the chapter headings, etc. in the SVG format. So when we, we're talking about moving this to a web, or to the web, we're talking about using PDIs, exporting them as SVG. So it's just going to be the display equivalent. Now process book does support as one of its native you know, formats for saving things as an SVG file. Okay. Now these SVG files, when we do save them like that, we don't support the Visual Basic scripting. Uh, we currently don't have support for SQC and batch trends. And of course you can't use ActiveX controls with these. Uh, Process Book itself is an ActiveX control container, but not when you bring this into the RT graphic web part. Now if you are interested in preserving all of the same functionality that we've had for years with Process Book. We do have something called RT Active View. RT Active View is a web part that allows you to host the native PDI files on an art or on a web part page. So that's an option if you don't want to give up the VBA scripting and some of those other things that are not yet supported um, using the RT Graphic web part.